Ashenda, an intangible heritage amongst grants, was celebrated for the past three days under the theme of Ashenda for Justice, Healing and Reconstruction in different parts of Sugrai. Magala hosted the original celebration for three days starting from Tuesday. Tens of thousands of spectators attended the festivity at Paloni, a sport venue in the heart of the town which hosted the festival. Women were decorated wearing their traditional clothes and jewelries. A celebration that has historical roots with the Christianity has now become one of the huge festivities in the region that symbolizes the freedom of women. High officials from federal and regional level, including the Tigran president, observed the festivity that was returned after three years. Ashenda was forced to stop due to coronavirus in 2019 and for the past two years due to the daily war in Tigray. During the closing session on Thursday, President Gitacho Reda made a speech stating that Tigran women have suffered from the most horrific crimes in the war. Gerach also played healing the wounds of women in Tigray in the first order of business to his administration. The women in Tigray were subjected to sexual violence, rape, murder and other crimes during the course of the war. Hundreds of thousands of women continued to witness these crimes until this day in areas under the occupation of external air strength forces and Amhara forces as well as Fano Vigilante Group. According to a report by Physicians for Human Rights and Organization for Justice and Accountability in the Horn of Africa, 304 medical reports from Tigray show extensive conflict related sexual violence, violating the cessation of hostage agreement signed in Pretoria in November of last year. President Gitacho, however, stressed on the need to pull all efforts together to achieve the full implementation of the Pretoria Peace Agreement, which he said has brought comparative peace in the region. <laughs> However, many Tigrans are still launching in different IDP camps with insufficient food and rain irresistible shelters. During the opening session on Tuesday, Tigray Interim Administration Deputy General Aganga Rasai called on the women in the festival to join hands and capitalize this year's agenda to achieve a lasting peace in Tigray. <laughs> This holiday is being celebrated at a time when we are still striving to achieve a total peace and to heal from the wounds of a heavy war in light of a glimpse of hope for a total peace. There is a lot of complicated struggle ahead of us. It takes a lot of determination to sustain our peace, work of reconstruction, heal our wounds and fight for our rights. I hope you will continue to stand together to nurture the peace and facilitate the political and economic situation in Tigray. Ten months into the Pretoria Peace Agreement, women in Tigray continue to suffer in the hands of Air China and Amhara forces. While many still hope this year's agenda will not only create some lance of normalcy to the war ravaged Tigray, but also put more spotlight on the continued suffering of the women in Tigray who were the main victims of the war.